good morning students in today's class we will start chapter 5 editing text in ms word 2007 so now open your book page number 36 this lesson is about ms word that you have learned in earlier classes okay ms word is used for mainly typing work we can make long documents and we can present in ms word very effectively with different formatting we can apply in ms word on the text so read with me lesson 5 Microsoft Word is an application software used for word processing. It is it was introduced by Microsoft Corporation, one of the world largest companies in the software development. MS Word has the power and flexibility to produce letters, reports, notices, newsletters, books, bills, etc. Okay? All these things we can prepare in ms word modify the text we can also modify the text <coughs> we can change any uh, we can change any thing you want to like color font size font style okay so uh, modify the text both while typing or after typing also we can modify anything so beautify and text using colors styles font size border shading and various other effects also and insert we can insert graphics we may use of various drawing tools to draw pictures also we can insert images and pictures also with our documents and we can copy and move the text from one location to another when we can preview the text before printing it we can take multiple print outs also So next topic is how can we start ms word for this you have to click on start button then all programs then microsoft office this is the part of the microsoft office and then microsoft office 2007 after clicking this button window will come in front of you like this this is the ms word window <coughs> there are different components of ms word window applications open a blank document with the temporary name document 1 you can see on the title bar this is the temporary name of the document because we can we we did not saved anything okay the small blinking vertical line that you notice on the screen it is known as insertion point or cursor it indicates the position where the next type character will appear as you start typing the cursor automatically shift to the right and we can enter the text on the same screen or create a new document now next is entering the text how can we enter the text start typing the paragraph in a new document while typing you will observe that word wrap the text automatically and move the words to do not to fill in the current current line to the next line i right? type the given text now observe the wrap effect okay without uh, pressing the enter key or uh, text automatically comes in the next line when we are line is finished now next is how can we create a document in ms word first you have to click on office button this is the office button and click on new option <coughs> new document dialog box will appear and on the right side of ms word window click on create button now select the blank document <coughs> on the new button the quick access toolbar also you can create new document and you can press either control plus n key for new document After creating the document, you can uh, save the so save your file. Click on Office button, Save option, Save as dialog box will appear. Now type your file name on the file name box. 
after that click on save button it will save your file and your file name will coming on the title bar either you can click control plus s key for save dialog box after that how can we close a document similarly click click on say office button then close option you can see in the list on the last close option if the file is not saved the message box will appear if you want to save click yes if you do want to save your file and uh, you can close the file without saving so you or uh, you can click on no button okay now for closing there is a shortcut key control plus w for closing the document now next opening a document after saving your file next day if you want to see your uh, your file so how can you open click on office button again then op open option the open dialog box will appear now select your file that you want to open or either you can type your file name then click on open button it will open your saved file either you can click open button from quick access toolbar also and for open there is one shortcut key control plus o <coughs> so all the shortcuts key you have to remember okay next printing a document after saving you, if you want to take print out of your document so how can you do click on office button same there is print option in the list click on that that print dialog box will appear click on okay the document will be printed okay now click on print button we can print uh, click on print button from the quick access toolbar also there is also print button <laughs> and the shortcut key of for print is control plus p now next topic existing ms word how can we exit from ms word click on office button similarly and click on exit word option so click and either you can click on close button from the title bar also and for exiting ms word <coughs> click uh, the shortcut key alt plus f4 key with this also we can close the ms word window now next is selecting and editing the text after typing the text in a document you may want to make some changes in text making changes in a document is called editing we want to do any changes any correction any insertion any deletion okay to perform any action like copying <coughs> moving finding and replacing deleting or formatting the text we need to select the text first the selected text is displayed on the screen in a highlighted bar to select a block of text you can use selection area this is the selection area the blank area in a document left margin <coughs> and we can select the text in a variety of ways also now there is some methods if you want to select a word then you can double click on that word it will be selected <coughs> and if you want to select a sentence you have to hold down the control key and click anywhere on the sentence it will select the whole sentence and if you want to select a whole paragraph you have to triple click anywhere in the paragraph or double click in the left margin of the paragraph <coughs> next a large block of text you have to click at the beginning of the text and then press the shift key and without releasing it click on at the end of the text it will select the whole matter that you have dragged next is entire document if you say you want to select whole document <coughs> click anywhere in the selection area by holding down the control key or either you can triple click in the selection area it will also select the whole document Okay, so we now we have done page number thirty six, thirty seven, and thirty eight. So you have to read the chapter again, <coughs> and.
and please try do practical practice of this uh, steps that we have explained you about ms word creating window say how can we save window closing window opening window opening a document okay and all, all the selection process first type any one paragraph from the book then after that apply all the selection process how can we select a word sentence paragraph entire document okay and we please learn all the shortcut keys that i have explained you for new file control plus n for saving a document control plus s for closing a document control plus w for opening a document control plus o for printing control plus p and exiting from the word alt plus f4 so these all shortcut keys you have to learn so watch this video again carefully <coughs> and next topic we will do in the next class okay now i will give you homework for today